So we are talking about signal, signaling systems that are hotwired between the cell surface and the nucleus. We are, we are going to look at another example of that, trans transforming growth factor beta family, receptor family. So transforming growth factor betas, they consist of a large number of structurally related secreted dimeric proteins and they play an important role during development. They regulate pattern formation, influence various cell behaviors, for example, proliferation, differentiation, extracellular matrix production, and cell death. We have talked about apoptosis. In adults, these signaling molecules can initiate tissue repair and also play a role in immune regulation. They act through enzyme-linked receptors that are single pass membrane proteins. Let's look at that. Basically, four of these receptors have to come together to form a complex when they're activated. They are type 1 receptors and type 2 receptors. TGF beta binds, first of all, type 2 receptors, type 2 TGF beta receptors, two of them. And when this Binding takes place between two type 2 TGF beta receptors. They recruit and phosphorylate type 1 receptors. You can see here in the image that they're actually we are only showing one of these type 2 receptors. There are two of them and there are two of type 1 receptors. For the sake of simplicity, we are showing only one type 2 and one type 1 TGF beta receptors. So they make type 1 receptors. They, when they are phosphorylated, they can bind a special protein in the cytoplasm and it phosphorylates that protein. The name of that protein is SMAD. Now SMAD, there is not one type of SMAD. There are several types of SMADs. For example, TGF beta receptors phosphorylate SMAD 2 or 3, whereas BMP receptors BMP stands for bone morphogenic protein, categorized in TGF beta receptor family. So BMP receptors, bone morphogenic protein receptors, phosphorylate SMAD 1, 5, and 8. So 2, SMAD 2, and 3 are phosphorylated by TGF beta receptors, whereas 1, 5, and 8 are phosphorylated by the BMP receptors. One of these SMADs then dissociates and from the receptor and binds to SMAD4. So here we say SMAD2 or 3 if it was this was TGF beta. If it were BMP receptor, it could be SMAD1, 5, or 8. So, anyways, after our SMAD binds SMAD4, it could be 2 or 3 in case of TGF beta receptor. This complex then moves to the nucleus, and here it can recruit other gene regulatory proteins and activate transcription of specific genes. So again here we have a receptor complex forming at the surface of the cell and sending a molecule straight to the nucleus to influence the transcription. So there are shortcuts to signaling from the, from the plasma membrane all the way to nucleus and we have seen two examples of that.